Retain gang, what's poppin', man? This your boy Tay, back at y'all again with another video. Hey, I appreciate you guys for tapping in as always. Peace and abundance to everybody watching. But make sure you hit that like button, man. You know what I'm saying? It don't cost you a thing. And if my videos, my content has been helping you out, you know, go ahead and hit that like button, man. Help me help you. You feel me? But today I actually got a question from a subscriber. And he wants to know why he sees angel numbers so frequently. And I love when you guys have questions like this, man. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I love topics like this. And I love to help you understand more on what you're seeing and why it's happening in your life. All right. So I got five reasons why you're seeing angel numbers. Okay. And the first reason is because you have questions. You might question your life. You might have a question about a particular thing. And as soon as you have that question or you're thinking about that question, you will see an angel number. You know, you might see a repeating number. It might be 222. It might be 444 or whatever. This happened to me many times. I'll be driving and then I'm thinking in my head. I'm always thinking, you know, and I'll just have questions like, what is this? Or what does this mean in my life? And next thing you know, I see... 4444 on the car's license place right in front of me. And that's not by coincidence, man. You know, that right there is a message. That's a sign that's giving me my answers. Okay? Usually when I see an angel number, right, I'll go into meditation mode so that I can unlock that code. You know, it's like a transmission. You know, like Morse code where you got like the, the little frequencies and it has to be decoded. So a lot of times, angel numbers, they have to be decoded. And the only way to do that is through meditation. Okay? And before I go on, I want you guys to understand that if you don't see angel numbers, that's okay. You know, the Most High speaks to us in different ways. So the Most High is going to reach you in the best way possible that you can understand. Okay? So if you don't see them, then this video might not be for you. But also, don't knock it because you don't see it. You feel what I'm saying? A lot of people try to say, oh, the Most High not going to send you numbers or talk to you that way. How do you know? And who are you to put limits on the Most High? The Most High is all-knowing, right? Omnipresent, omnipotent. When you look in the mirror, you see God. When you look at the trees, you see God. When you're breathing, you're experiencing God. Everywhere you go is God because God is all. So who are we to put a limit on how God can speak to you? God can tap into any outlet to communicate with you. You feel me? So I just want to set that record straight first. All right. And I got my list right here. The second reason why you'll see angel numbers is you might fall on hard times. Okay. And during these moments, I'll use myself as an example again. Whenever I'm going through a moment, a very, very difficult time, man, whether, you know, it's financial or it's just my energy ain't right, I'll usually see 444, which is an angel number that is letting you know that you're protected and you have an army around you. Okay, so a lot of times you'll see angel numbers that's gonna give you reassurance through the time that you're going through in that moment, right? It's gonna let you know that, hey, it might seem rough right now, but things are gonna get better. You gotta go through this little transition right now. Okay, so don't give up. Anytime I'm going through a rough time and I see 444, man, it puts a smile on my face. You know, it puts me at ease because I know that I'm being watched over. That I'm being guided. And they can see past the forest. They can see further than what I can see. My guardian angels. You feel what I'm saying? So they see what's coming up next. Even when things seem dim at the moment. So this is why you got to have faith. You got to have faith in what you're doing. And that you're doing the right thing in your life. Okay. The third reason is big change. Big changes in your life. Now, I usually see 555 or 1111 when this is reoccurring in my life. Okay. Anytime something's about to drastically change in your life, you're going to see angel numbers. You might see a red cardinal fly in your path. That's also a sign. I usually get those red cardinals and 555 together, right? So what that's letting you know is 
things are changing so fast that you're not going to have time to react. Just go with the flow. All right? It might seem scary. It might seem like things is not going the way that you want to. It's happening too fast for you. But don't panic. Just ride the wave. It's going to take you somewhere you need to be. All right? Big change is always good, man, because that means that you're 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 walking into a new doorway of your life. Right? 555 five, five is never a bad number, at least from my experience. It's always taking me into a better reality from all the hard work I've been putting in. Okay? So I want you to realize that, man. Big change is always good. You gotta switch it up every now and then. You can't keep doing the same thing over and over again. Your soul gets bored. And then you're not learning anything new. You stunt your growth. You stay stagnant. You feel me? So don't be alarmed when you see this, man. When you see 555, 1111, that's just letting you know that, hey, we about to go to another level. All right? So the fourth reason you might see an angel number is, is warnings. It's a warning. It's warning you. Or it's trying to give you a cautionary message that, hey, it could be whatever. You know, like uh, these numbers are situational. So they have a general meaning, but they mean something entirely different com compared to like what you're going through in your life at that moment. You know what I'm saying? So you could be going into the wrong place at the wrong time and you will see an angel number. You know, and it's letting you know like, hey, the vibes here ain't good. Or you could be around the wrong people. Two, two, two. You might see that when people are coming into your life or you're surrounding yourself with people that's not really in your favor. All right? It can also let you know that you're on the wrong path. Everything that you're doing in your present moment is leading you astray from your purpose. Right? And you're losing that connection with the most high. See, when we, when we walk astray that connection gets weaker. You know what I'm saying? Because those high vibrational entities, they like to be in a high vibrational body. When you start going into the low vibrational realms, though, you lose that connection. They start to pull away because it gets real muddy. You know, the, the, the connection gets real, gets real fickle. You feel me? It gets weak. So you could be going in the wrong direction and they're trying to let you know, like, hey, you need to get yourself together. What you're doing Every single day ain't working for you. And you need to catch it before it manifests into something. All right? 666 is another one where you'll see when you need to get yourself right. Usually, if you worrying about worldly problems like your finances and you just having, like, problems with your security, problems with survival, you just always worried and anxious, you will see the number six. Which is letting you know you need to go back to your higher self. You're too much in the flesh. You're worried about fleshly things. You need to go back to your higher self and understand that everything's okay. This is an experience. Alright? So don't let it take control over your life. Over your energy. Always have faith that the Most High is guiding you. You feel what I'm saying? And the last reason why you're seeing angel numbers... Because you're on the right path. Everything that you're doing in your life is the right thing. It's a righteous thing, right? And usually I'll see this number, 777, 9, right? That number 9 is the number of completion. Meaning that whatever level or whatever, whatever trials and tribulations you were going through, you are about to complete that. You, you, you figured out the messages or the, the mistakes that you had to learn from. Right? See, that six is letting you know that you're spiraling down. You're going backwards. And the number eight is a loop. So you're just doing the same thing over and over again. But that nine lets you know that you're going up, meaning you're elevating, you're leveling up. Okay, so usually when you're seeing these numbers, 999, 1111 is also another one that's letting you know that you're going into a new doorway. But... 1111 can also mean that, hey, things are manifesting fast. So you need to pay attention to your thoughts and your frequency because you can manifest something good or bad. It's all up to you. It's your choice. 
But usually when you're on the right path, you'll start to see numbers a lot frequently. And this is also guiding you to your purpose. The reason why you're here. What you're supposed to do while you're here in this world temporarily. Okay, me, I was seeing angel numbers when I was thinking about doing this YouTube thing. And, and really trying to reach out to people and help and, and just give my testimony. I started seeing a lot of angel numbers. Because I was, I was contemplating if I should do this or not. Should I really put myself out there? And every time I would have this question, I would see angel numbers everywhere. At work, driving, at home, on, on you know, going to get gas. The gas prices would be 333, 222. Well, not 222, but you know, like 333 and 444. Because gas ain't never been that low. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I, I would see angel numbers all the time, man. Like just everywhere I go. And that was letting me know, like, okay, yeah, I, I need to do something with this. This is the right path for me. This is the right choice because I wouldn't be seeing these numbers. You know? And follow your intuition. If all else fails, follow your gut feeling. Because that's your internal alarm system. Your internal compass as well. And it's going to guide you. It's like clairvoyance. It's going to guide you on the right path. You know, if you ever play the video games and you don't know where the next objective is, there's always like a button where you can push and it'll give you like a little a little line, right, to show you where your next objective is. And you just follow that line, it's going to lead you right to your path. You had that same thing in your gut feeling, your intuition. So if all else fails and you're confused and you don't know if... if what you're seeing is the right answers or the right way to go. Listen to that intuition. Go into your meditation mode and ask the most high for answers. Okay? You can do that. It doesn't cost you anything. And everybody has the opportunity to do that. You feel me? So this is why you're seeing angel numbers, man. Usually it's not a bad thing. It means you're tapped in. It means that you're operating on a higher frequency. Because like I said, everybody doesn't see these. Everybody doesn't get these messages. You know how many people probably see repeating numbers and don't think nothing of it? Think nothing of it, right? It's just a number to them. So feel blessed that you're able to receive these messages and actually be aware of them. Okay? And with that being said, guys, if you still need extra help... I do one-on-one -on -one consultations. I'll leave my link in the description and in my pinned comments. You guys keep on coming with the questions, man. Let me know what y'all thinking or what y'all need help with. I do read my comments and I try to answer everybody within the, within the first few days of me posting. So just let me know, man. With that being said, y'all have a beautiful day and I'm out. Peace.